All right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Czech Republic's Yuri Prohaska. Never know what haircut he's going to be bringing. I kind of miss the big, long lettuce. I don't know. Yeah, I love the ponytail. But Yuri Prohaska, for a long time, was considered one of those guys that could have an impact in the UFC. It took him a while to get here. But once he got here, it was all systems go, and he made a beeline towards becoming the light heavyweight champion. He has all the skills needed to be at the top of the sport, and tonight he steps in the octagon once again, trying to get his hand raised. Prohaska first became the champion in June of 2022, then had a devastating shoulder injury, and a lot of fans worldwide wanting to see how he responds as he gets back on the proving ground tonight. in the business, Yuri Prohaska has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal. Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing this, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Yuri Denisa And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. All right, here we go with round one, and we will see what Alex Pereira can provide for an encore. As any man or woman in UFC history vaulted to superstardom at the UFC Hall of Fame as quickly as this two-division champion, Alex Pereira, his heart and soul is the striking best striker in this division, and a lot of power is going to be coming his opponent's way here tonight. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw a near mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Well, that combination's gonna test his chin. Nicely done. 
Prohaska's elbow attempt here, blocked by the defense. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots in between, and now a cut has opened up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big elbow there, Lance. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Strikes continue to land. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Prohaska's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Nasty body kick downstairs. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, beautiful jab there by Padena. 10 seconds to go in the round. All right, to next. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. You're good. You're fine. We knew this was going to be like this. We knew we were going to have a new All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Well, how good is that jab by today? That was a nice combination there. Nice block. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Prohaska's doing a nice job there, raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world.